Puck shot across the ice on the pond. The pups and their friends skated after him. They skated so fast that they ended up in a pile in the snowbank at the end of the rink. Smudge was the only one left standing because he skated more slowly. Tanker pulled himself out of the snowbank and announced that there were clearly enough of them to make two teams and have a game of hockey. They loved the idea, and the friends formed a circle waiting to be chosen. The captains would be Tanker and Farrah, because they were the fastest skaters. First, Farrah chose Bilko. He was a great goalie. Tanker chose Dilly. She was good at hitting the puck. Well, soon all the friends were chosen and standing beside their team captain. Everyone, that is, except for Smudge. Smudge was left all alone and without a team. He knew why no one chose him. He wasn't very steady on his skates and he fell a lot. When you played hockey, standing up and being a fast skater was very important. I don't have to tell you that Smudge was very disappointed. Nobody seemed to notice that he was still standing there. After a couple of minutes, Angora asked him to move out of the way. The game was about to start. Smudge did move out of the way. He came over to me and sat on my bumper. A big sigh told me Smudge was unhappy. When I asked him what was wrong, he said he wasn't good enough to play with his friends. I thought about it for a moment and then pointed out that there's only one way to get better. Smudge brightened up when he heard that. He didn't know he could get better, and I told him it was simple. All he had to do was practice. I explained that no matter how bad you are at something, practice always makes you better. Within seconds, Smudge was on the empty end of the rink. He tried skating fast and fell. Then he tried stopping quickly and fell. I told him he was doing a good job. He couldn't believe it when I said that, but I pointed out that he had a lot of tripping and falling to get out of his system, so that skating and gliding would move in. And I'm proud to say that even that very afternoon, Smudge started to get better. He wasn't a fabulous skater yet, but he sure was better than before. The next day after Smudge practiced, he was a little bit better again. By the third day, even Smudge could feel the difference. He knew how to hold his ankles when he skated. He knew how to grind his skates into the ice when he stopped. He was very excited about his improvement. On the fourth day, Smudge didn't wobble at all. And he surprised himself by hitting the puck really well. It was on this day that I took the other pups aside. I explained how Smudge had felt when he had been left out. Everybody felt bad. They'd been so excited about their hockey game that none of them had really noticed. I reminded them that nobody picked Smudge last time and that needed to change. Tanker agreed. He would feel very sad if someone left him out of the game. And Farah agreed. Even if he couldn't skate well, it wasn't any fun to sit on the sidelines. Dilly told me that she would make sure he played in the very next game. That afternoon, there was another hockey game. Smudge wasn't even going to put his skates on. But his three friends encouraged him. Soon he was all dressed. Outside in the rink, Dilly chose Smudge first. The others were surprised, and so was Smudge, but he skated over and he smiled at Dilly. Dilly smiled back and told him they were going to have a great team. And she was right. In the game, Smudge was faster and better than ever. When he scored a goal on Bilko, everyone cheered, even Bilko. 
So when a yell came across the ice, almost no one noticed. Ophelia heard it first and shushed everybody. With a bumpy sound, Tortellini, holding his hat up, shot across the ice like the puck. The hat he was holding was acting like a sail. Smudge was the first to move. He called to the pups to skate over to the middle of the ice as fast as possible. There they lay down and made a wall across the ice to softly catch Tortellini. He was spinning and turning and spinning off in all directions, but soon he bumped into the pup's wall. Tanker caught a hold of him, and no one was happier than Tortellini. He was very dizzy and, and gasping for air, but his friends could see that he was all right. When he could stand up, he did. He explained that he thought traveling by hat would be so much faster than a turtle could go. But once he got going fast, he realized he didn't know how to steer. He looked back over the ice and sighed. It was rather fun, but it definitely required practice. Smudge put Tortellini's hat on his head and told him that he knew all about practice and just how important it was. And he was right. And I hope one day, if there's something that you want to do that is hard for you, remember that every time you practice, you get better. One day you'll wake up and be great at it. And on that day, I know I'll be really proud of you for working so hard. something flat, like a wall or the sidewalk. It will slowly disappear, like magic. Make sure it's not on something that might walk away. 